ladies and gentlemen welcome 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 i'm just gonna say this right now this might be a long video i'm gonna just be going over what i miss about the old days of grand cross because realistically i'm getting burnt out trying to do pvp videos like it's just not fun every festival unit's getting stronger and stronger i have to try to just use some meta team with one wacky unit and somehow try to make it work and it usually just never ends up working uh, there's realistically no p new PvE content besides the deer which is coming out which everyone just constantly complains because they can't beat it Which is understandable because I mean I guess I'll, in reference to the de uh, bird because I really haven't made any deer videos I made like two and I can't even beat floor two because I don't want to invest hours and hours and hours into this game anymore It's just not as fun as it used to be um you know, there's just some small things that I'm going to go over, some big things, etc. So, you know, if you have the time, sit down, grab some popcorn or something, and I'm going to go through every aspect of the game in terms of, like, knighthood boss, final boss, PvP, um, content in the game, etc, etc. And what I'm going to start off with is kind of just cosmetics. Like, I, I would like new cosmetics in the game in terms of, like, the tavern. I've just been too lazy to change this one, but there aren't really that many good-looking ones. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's just because they gave up on this game last year because they saw how good Genshin was doing and that's what that new game that's going to be coming out, Origins, is. Um, which is understandable, to be honest. You know, every game does it. Gears of War gave up on their game after literally, like, a year. And it's a triple-A studio. So, it kind of makes sense why, you know, they would give up on this game. Or at least it seems that way. Um, I, I do like that the vendors are in here, you know, I wish all the vendors were in here, so, like, in terms of all the gear, uh, I don't like going, and all the, like, the food, you know, like, just stuff them all in this corner, honestly, like, there's nothing over here, there's just a little barrel that doesn't do anything, I get, like, a stamp or XP pot, wish it was a stamina pot, but whatever, uh, you know, we have the affinity, like, yeah, there's really nothing ever going on in here besides this, which I haven't gotten today, um, and then... F knighthood boss uh, I never really did it at the beginning because I don't even know if I was in a guild I didn't really understand what I was doing um, and then when I did try it I mean most of them just absolutely beat me to death like I just couldn't do it um, now I know that most people still can't do knighthood boss uh, hell difficulty but I feel as though most people should be able to get the 6k points with the uh, extreme uh, hard and normal um, which I will be pushing on stream later today because my guild, uh, my head guild person hates me. Can't believe you why you're a bully. But, uh, yeah, like, I don't know. I just kind of wish the rewards were increased. Um, I mean, they're not bad rewards, but five hammers, that, that is a 0.1% roll. I, w I never get the 0.3. It is always a 0.1% uh, roll change. So it's not that great. Uh, I, d I can't see what this is for some reason i assume it's some mediocre piece of gear like a three star or a one or not even an awakened piece of gear um the pendants and the sa coins are realistically all i care about and then only 75 hammers or anvils like i don't know uh i just wish they were increased basically all uh the hell rewards are pretty good but oh wait was i on hell this is the hell rewards oh my god that is <laughs> kind of shit okay i didn't realize this was the hell reward and each one of these should be like three pendants in my opinion but like okay whatever um and then normal snr pendants I, I don't think anybody realistically needs these anymore that are like consistently doing guild boss i wish those were updated you know i i, I don't know what, what would you even make it like just one SSR pendant, I would take that over three SSR pendants, to be honest. You know, I would like anvils to be updated. Uh, get, get gold chests out of every single game mode in this game, bro. Like, I hate seeing gold chests. It's just complete dog shit filler. Like, at this point in the game, like, who is g doing Knighthood Boss to get gold? No one. Uh, and then the stamina cost. Oh, my God. This is one thing in this game that is killing me. The amount of stamina that every goddamn thing in this game costs is ludicrous. Let me grab my phone. I have an, an amazing picture that probably won't show up, but... Okay, just hold on. B bear with me. I'm a boomer, so I might not be able to find it right away. Is it called Photos on... Okay, it is. This photo represents everything about Grand Cross right now. I don't care about that. 
If you can't see it, it is Merlin falling over, you know, when Arthur died or like got stabbed or whatever. And then it's stamina pots just like flying out of her. Uh, it's the Kellock and Inek boss, the Hell Guild boss in the back. And then it's the bird and the uh, new deer off to the side. There is so much stamina you have to do. If you don't wail, how do you have enough stamina to do this? I don't understand. Like, I, w I spend a lot and I don't have any stamina pots. Like, I just had to do a whole nother summoning video so I can get stamina pots. Like, that is absurd. Now, obviously, you don't have to do everything, but 70 stamina, a singular... God damn it, I did not mean to click that. That was a waste. Oh my god. Well, I'm getting out of this because I don't. This is not the right team, and uh, there's no good rewards. There's no good rewards for beating Guild Boss, like just like clearing it. So I don't get why there's a stamina requirement, especially this high. It should be like 10 stamina. It should just be like 10. Like honestly, like there's just no reason that every single thing in this game costs like literally a full stamina pot a run. Floor three bird, uh, I can't see it, but I'm pretty sure it's like 60 stamina. This one is 30, this one's 45, and then this one's 60. The deer is the exact same, I'm pretty sure. Um, the fort special dungeons, this is another one that eats away at my stamina. Um, this one, uh, I can't see it, but it's like 30 stamina, I believe. Um, I don't know why I can't see what it is. Okay, this one costs quite a bit of stamina as well. These ones cost a lot of stamina. It's just like a never-ending cycle of just suffocating you to where you're just like, I can't play the game. I just can't play the game. That is my one problem with Bleach Brave Souls, um, where I'm just at a point where I'm out of stamina. I'm done playing for the day. I, I am not pushing. I'm not spending orbs in order to do, uh, you know, play unless it's like I need one more run to, you know, get my uh, gems from the character leveling them up but like yeah, I, I just would like it changed um every single shop needs revamped in my opinion they're also out of date like back in the day yeah this would kind of make sense because you know that these were pretty good rewards but now a singular pendant for 300 coins that's two pendants a week just from the like top one percent knighthood login because you get 600 of the coins and then one pendant I believe every single Sunday which isn't terrible obviously but it's like the singular pack is 400 so that's one pack a week you can get um, this is like all right I guess I don't know probably could everything should just be like lowered or increase the price or increase the amount that you get per thing this I I'm totally fine with it. I don't care most people probably don't even know what this tab is because they're not in Guild Wars this uh, I mean I have I will admit I used to actually buy this from the shop because I was a low desperate man who didn't know how to just farm because blue stack was shit um this is less like whatever I mean uh, they could just make it one but you know um or just you know make it so they give out more knighthood coins per thing like maybe you can farm knighthood coins from doing the final boss or uh, knighthood boss like it would just make sense right like you're, you're doing knighthood boss maybe you get a chance to get like a bundle of like a hundred at 30 and then like 10 10 guaranteed 30 is a silver chest and gold chest is a um 100 it would just make it a bit more worth to actually finish the boss and beat it more can more times and especially when you are pushing for the knighthood boss like i have to push i don't know how long it could take uh wired said it could take anywhere from like two to five hours so hopefully it doesn't take five hours because i have to go to the gym at two o'clock uh, and then i have a family dinner because it was my birthday and we didn't uh, go out that day but anyways yeah and also like the annoying part about hell like it makes sense because you know they have to make it difficult but the only good units are like for hell from what i have seen i could be wrong is um like the main dps not the side units is obviously like green gother green gother is prevalent everything they need to just put them on a guaranteed goddamn banner but i'll get into banners later that that is gonna be a whole nother uh, situation um this like the main teams okay uh how do i see the best teams individual rankings Oh, it's Bond, really? Okay, I thought it was 
Okay, so it's a maxed out 6-6 everything bond team most likely, and then Brunhill. Th those are the only two teams. Yep, these are the only two teams that have made it into the top teams. Okay. Anything else? Uh, oh, there's a Twigo. Uh, Twigo bond. Okay, so basically the same thing. Um, yeah, it's just Bon and Derry or Bon and uh, Brunhill. It looks like those are the main DPSs. So as, as I'm saying, like Hell is just kind of very difficult to actually score high. Now, granted, that's like overall, so that actually not, might not even be the Hell team. I'm not too sure, um, but yeah, just where it has to be always Green Gother. And then Brunhild or something like I wish that would change. I, I would like a meta where we somehow make it so that fairies have a chance in the meta. Um and then maybe make it so we have to use like Helbrum or something. Like we used to have to use Helbrum, I know, but I don't know. There's just so many units in this game that ninety nine percent of them are completely okay, maybe not ninety nine, but ninety percent of them are useless, bro. Like all of these units down below are just complete dog shit. Like, I guess she has a use in making me clear anvil stage faster, but that's literally it. And, yeah. I don't know. Uh, just something that I don't really like about this game. Um, every unit used to be somewhat viable back in the day, especially in PvP. You know, like Red Helbrum, a very, very toxic unit. Uh, I actually am going to be trying to make a video on him. But uh, I, I'm also going to be going into how I realistically want to upload later on, which I probably should have brought up earlier on in the video, but whatever. Um, I'm going to jump into banners because I feel like a lot of people are actually kind of curious as to what I think about banners. And honestly, I hate everything about these banners. Um, Sariel being a 600 gem pull banner, only guaranteed at 600, is so stupid in my mind. Um, I wish they would kind of take something from bbs bleach brave souls and something from genshin yes genshin i'm actually giving some props to the genshin banner in terms of this um back in the old days as i say you know the good old boomer days when i was actually able to move my arm without it cracking stretching my back without it breaking all those things it was a little thing called the aot banner collab and they had a pretty good banner. I don't remember the rates. I'm pretty sure it was just a standard 3% banner rate. 600 and 600 gems guaranteed collab unit. But this was a collab banner. And they had a better banner than this. Now, yes, Sariel is rated up. But he is the only rated up unit on this banner. And it is a 3% banner rate. So, yeah. Uh, I, the AOT units might have been rated up. Probably not. I can't remember. But... They made it where you get a guaranteed new unit at the 300 mark. That is basically what Genshin is. I believe you go, um, you have a 50-50 system. You go, like, basically halfway. You get a guaranteed 5-star, like, 4 or 5 multis, I believe. Uh, guaranteed 5-star. And then you most likely will get shafted. And then 4 or 5 more multis later, you will get the second guaranteed featured unit. It's basically just like this. Like, it's basically just like the 600 gem banner. But you get a guaranteed unit like I, I don't know why they took that away it is so nice like yes since there's only one unit it kind of sucks for net marble but here's this drop sr units make good sr units and have them on the side or just another ssr something like i'm so sick of these one unit banners they're so boring i hate summoning on this banner i hate that i had to go this far like, I did not want this unit whatsoever, but uh, content. And then I made one video with him, and I hated this unit. Or her, whatever. I don't care. It looks like a boy. But, yeah, I just... <sighs> These banners suck. Like, the banner is filled with so many good units, too. Like, every unit on here realistically has some sort of value. Besides Blue Hauser and Red Lilia, right? Red Lilia is decent on the Bond team. Especially with the Holy Relic and you have like Keo in 4v4, it could be pretty good. But other than that, it's not that great. Um, Green Gother, obviously. He should have been the side guaranteed unit. And you get a pick at 600 gems. We need a guaranteed banner for Green Gother so that free to plays can actually have a chance. Like, I don't understand. Like, yes, you're going to try to milk out all of your customers. But so many people are quitting because they can never get this goddamn unit. I have seen so many people go rotations, like four or five rotations for a singular green Gother dupe to 6-6 six, six him. Like, 
No feasible person is going to have four or five rotations saved up for a singular green Gother dupe, especially when this banner genuinely is not that great unless you want to beat Bird. If you want to beat Bird, this is your banner. But most people have just completely given up on the Bird or they just don't care enough because realistically, every single Holy Relic in the game besides like maybe four or five are complete dog shit. They are so bad. Um... I also missed the Fest banner where they made uh, the Fest units 0.5%. Now, obviously, yes, there's only one unit, but I think they could just cut it down to three or possibly even four Fest units and then have two, the two brand new ones or the two newest 0.5% rate and then the other ones 0.25%. I don't understand why they have to be the exact same rate. Meliodas is not rated up here. He is not. He just simply is not. A point. 0.7% is not an increase, especially when you look at the Sariel banner and every single unit on the banner is 0.25. You want to see where you can cut out some uh, percentages? Cut him out, cut him out, cut him out, cut him out, uh, cut her out, and cut Belion out, cut... Eh, I mean, I guess the rest could actually stay. Cut even... I mean, Derriere is somewhat useful, but... All these units up, besides the Legends of Elizabeth, because she actually has some use, she makes it so you can spawn red demons, which is actually pretty nice, but you could even cut her out as well. Cut all those units out. Just dice them out. Like, they're complete dog shit units that I never want to see on a banner again. Coin shops should never return on a banner. They just shouldn't. They're absolutely dog shit. Nobody uses them anymore. Like, this is 2022 on a fest unit banner, and you do that. Like... <laughs> Goddess Liz would be the worst festival in the game if, you know, she didn't have the Archangel team. Um, especially with Meliodas coming back, her shield is actually very viable now. Um, that is the only thing that has brought her back into the meta, which is being Meliodas. And ironically, he absolutely destroys her when he gets his ultimate, but either way. Like, she shouldn't have been on this banner. Like, I mean, I know some people are like, oh, but I really like Goddess Liz, but she is horrible. Unless you're in Guild Wars, there's like no use for her. Because the Tower of Trials that used to be actually difficult and you had to like rely on a revive strat most of the time with Melascula or Goddess Lizardflect, you just use Purgatory Bond or Fest King or Trader Melly and you eviscerate every single floor. These Fest units have gotten so strong that there's just no fun trying to complete Tower of Trials. Like it used to be a living hell trying to complete it and now it's just like, oh. I have this fest unit. I'm gonna use this guy. Like the one was pretty broken, but at least he was only single target. So you still had to like take them out in a somewhat tactical way, somewhat. But now every new unit is AOE like destruction. Like Melly's AOE Pierce card does like 500k at like a rank one or two. King's cards, you you get two of them AOE, and then you get a super buff shield that nothing can break through them, and it's like oh. Well, this was fun. There just isn't really any challenge in the game anymore besides Bird. It, it, like, it is the only challenging content. Challenging, by the way. Uh, let, let's just go into Bird now because I think the banner system is complete dog shit. I think they should completely rework it. I, I guess I should say how. Um, base banners should be 242 gems uh, guaranteed with two units. You know, rate those units up to 0 0.5 and then have everything else the 0.17 or the 0.25, which I think it should always be the 0.25, making it four or five percent banners. But whatever. Collab banners can stay 600. I, I hate it too, but they do have to get the IP. They have to pay for it. They need to make money off of it. That is acceptable. But cosmetics, which I will go into later on, I have no idea how long this video is going to be. I'm sorry, but you know, I kind of just want to rant. Um, cosmetics uh i think should be available for gems on the final week of the collab you know the whales have had their chance to slap around the little free to plays that couldn't afford a singular little lollipop on the street you know but you know they're just slapping their debit card oh frick ow that's what a free to play sounds like i did that on purpose but yeah like <sighs> Amelia without cosmetics, not worth. Ram without cosmetics, not worth. There's realistically no unit in the game without cosmetics that was worth for a collab unit. Besides, in my opinion, Keo and Terry. Because they are so goddamn broken because of their freaking holy relics. 
But even then, I don't think Keo's that great, like, free to play. Like, it, you're just gonna run into a whale that goes first, and then he one taps your Keo, or he one taps your Lilia, and it's like, oh, okay, well, that was, a uh, cool, I guess. So, yeah, th those are the only units, but they need to make cosmetics, quote unquote, free to play. You know, uh, we're gonna get into cosmetics later, by the way, because I think 30 gems for a singular cosmetic is absolutely outrageous. But let's go over Demonic Beast real quick. Um, I do like that they actually, they, they fixed the beast, okay? They, they made it much easier, because if you guys are just like brand new, you joined around Meliodas or when Fest King dropped, you used to have to reset the floor one after every single loss. And this is why it took us so much longer to beat the bird than beating the deer. Like, people beat the deer floor one within a day because they didn't have to reset every single time, increasing the RNG by, like, a million percent. Like, no joke. And then, on floor two, it said you needed a taunt. Okay, we use a taunt unit. We use Diane or Derriere. Those were the two taunt units we had. Um... But then he has a buff card or a, t a passive that removes all buffs after the first turn. So you had to consistently pull taunt cards. And at that time, I believe we had uh, Brunhild. That was the only main DPS. And then along with the one Escalator. Those are the two main DPSs that people used. Um, yeah, you're not killing, you're not killing the bird in one run, like with Meliodas, where he, you can just like one tap him and then he's at like one HP the next turn. No, 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 we didn't have that. That was basically impossible. So you just always lost, like, if you got that pass it was an instant forfeit because it goes on for the rest of the stage. But thankfully they did fix it. So that's good. But, um, I think the deer is a little bit more forgiving uh, in terms of the units you can use because you just need a red green blue unit and you need to just have a lot of HP That's how you beat it um, And then I guess Trader Melly also fits into that as well because he doesn't break the cycle or he doesn't start the cycle um, But with the bird you need Magelda or you need Gringother. Those are the two main units now There's probably some other weird little gimmicks But Magelda and Gringother have easily become the most dominant and like sought after units and then the second or slash third place, I guess, would be Matrona. Um, because people are beating floor one through three without a taunt unit. Like, that is a thing now. Like, you just have so much DPS and healing, you don't need a taunt unit to hide behind. Um, so, if any of you guys are curious, summon for a Magelda banner, which I think she should eventually be a guaranteed uh, pity later on. I think units should come back at guaranteed pity. You can get the guaranteed unit. Uh, the new unit and then you can choose one of the older units that you know you would like to have pitied i think that would be a great deal especially because you know a lot of people are quitting because they just don't have any of the units they keep getting shafted because net marble won't increase any of the rates they 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 just don't want to uh, now obviously it comes down to luck so rates aren't everything but they definitely help and at least help the mine um because Ble bleach brave soul has rates eight percent rates at the uh, highest like 10 out of 10 pity um but there's no pity i mean but uh the highest like step you can go out to like 10 out of 10 8 percent rates and i went 10 to 12 multis on that final step and i didn't get a singular five stars so yeah rates aren't everything but either way the bird is just a, a bit too annoying because every single youtuber hey look at me beat the bird with matrona melly and Magelda. And then some shit ass unit like that. That's exactly how it is. And it's like, oh, I hate it. I hate it. It's mainly because of that first phase, like that first phase where, you know, or uh, floor phase four, where you just have to do so much goddamn damage because you have to have a power strike or 12 million buffs on melee. I just wish, you know, it wasn't a bit as RNG based or like unit decision based because that is the main team. It's just three units and then some shitter unit that just hopefully it can survive long enough so yeah that's my take on bird uh deer too much rng i hate it uh, i'm probably not even gonna do floor three um but yeah we'll probably just have to see i don't really care for bird and deer like bird is easy thankfully they're making it so we can farm it next week next thursday is the update uh, i'll be farming it uh so yeah all right um Let's go over final boss. Oh, this one is a, another amazing topic. Um, th they keep doing 
like one thing right and then two things wrong with final boss from what I have seen. Also, why does this leave on Tuesday? Are we getting our update on Tuesday? Okay, uh, that'd be cool if we get it on Tuesday, but I'm very confused. Um, but anyways, final boss. Uh, yes, this is a pretty hard final boss. I, I would say that's a good thing. That is a good thing in my opinion. Um, the, the bad thing is it's kind of limited because uh, Meliodas does more damage to humans and fairies. Uh, he does more damage to unknown and he does more damage to giants? Or no, he, he just taunts and then he does something. He doesn't do extra damage or anything. Um... So basically, you are limited to the full Archangel team, or you use the Bond team, because Bond team, for some whatever reason, is still so goddamn tanky that you just don't die. Like, you just don't die. Um, because even with the extra 1000% damage by melee, it just doesn't matter. Those are like the only two teams. Like, like let's see, watch me be proven wrong right here. Nope, I am not proven wrong. Oh my god, this guy ruined it. Oh, switch your placings. That would have been so cool. He's the only guy that changed it. Jaden, you piece of shit. <laughs> but either way, as you can see, this is the best team. Like, undoubtedly. Oh, you did it too, you piece of shit. Um, but, like, how... <laughs> Bond destroyed final boss bond has destroyed final boss He has been the number one unit for final boss for like forever The only one that I can't remember not being like him is the one with Wylo and Twigo and or is it the Jericho one one of them it were kind of like a full uh, girl team um, and then there was another one with uh, Gringother Easton and the bond team might have surpassed it. I can't remember but I know that was what it was on JP it's so brain dead like getting top 10% or top 5% is so easy Like it genuinely is you don't and you don't use ultimates So it's not like oh well you have a 6-6 six, six bond so that's the only reason you win No, 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 you don't use it. You don't use ultimates. You just you, you just hit hard You just hit beefy like that. That's all you do You just hit them so goddamn hard till they cry because Esteros the attack with stat downs doesn't matter for bond every single time he gains an ultimate orge ultimate ultimate orange oh my god beautiful an ultimate orb he just no it's gone his passive deletes it so that that's one thing like back in the day the every final boss was pretty hard like the go through one was absolutely brutal to me because you know i can't remember exactly how it went but one of them was it was either the go through or the merlin one i believe where you had to not kill the side ones which i'm pretty sure was go through and you had to constantly aoe so you'd always use like hauser or blue demon melee and that shit was excruciating like honestly like that shit took like i remember driving from okay i'm not gonna say actually where but it was a six hour road trip back home and it took me almost the entire six hours farming to actually beat it on hell and get a decent score like it, it was hard now granted yes s saying level 90 all that does help but it, it was a much more competitive scene back then and people were actually like interested in how to beat it nowadays like they're just like oh i got the gems i don't care like that they don't care these rewards are so shit uh like genuinely they have not increased the rewards wow 10 anvils i'm excited Th those are hammers 10 hammers <laughs> uh and then the srs like i i guess that's fine it's top 80 percent you know new players definitely need those uh but these like get these out of the game bro like there's no point for them anymore because we have that thing where you can turn them into merlin like i just don't understand why they're even here anymore the uh awake the awakening coins should be like doubled or even quadrupled in my opinion this is a like monthly event a monthly event imagine getting two pendants not even enough to freaking limit break a unit it's such a joke you can't even fully you are one single piece with this like it's so dumb they always give you like just enough to be like here here you go one candy one candy like why is this like I, I, I don't know 150 anvils oh good I can't wait to get the roll I don't want because I go like 3 million anvils and maybe I get a decent roll maybe 
I just, I, I don't know. Uh, these rewards are just complete dog shit. The only reason people actually push is for these. Like, this is the only thing I see worth. And even then, I'm never doing that. I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> but, like, yeah. Um, the gems are the only good thing. Even though I think the gems could be increased. But I'm fine with it staying at 35. I I'm fine with that. You know, it's fairly easy just to get, like, beat it on easy or hard and then just get top 30%. Like, that's probably what you could do. And now onto the next thing. This goddamn shop is the worst shop in Final Boss I've ever seen. You get maximum 17 points from a hell clear. And it is one of the most annoying Final Bosses to auto because you can't really auto it. They do more damage to fairies. They do more damage to unknowns. They... They don't take a lot of damage because the Vesteros is passive, so, you know, you get a tackled stat down. So you can't use, like, Escanor, Bonk, you can't use Bond Team because auto and you still lose. Um, you get, like, 9 points from the hard mode autoing as well, so that's, what, 3 runs for 1 SA coins, 7 or 8 runs for 1 SSR pendant. Like, it's horrible. And then all the other things. There's no cosmetics! Where are the cosmetics for these units? There are people coming to this game that are like, wow, these outfits look really cool. I really want these. Even if they they join this year. The Meliodas has never been reran. Like, where is the, he like, Legends? Not, not even Legends, because you don't even get the outfits from Legends. What is the point of the Legendary Final Boss? I just... It's so simple to bring in the old cosmetics. And even if you're like, well, the whales are new. Old people will never buy them. We get cosmetic materials. Do you know how much I have to suffer doing demons to get cosmetic materials? I get like three for one boss, for one demon. And I'm trying to currently max out my king and my melee because they have such high CC. Like, I still need more of these. I, I need more attack ones. Like, I need a lot of attack ones. Actually, yeah, I'm going to need 90. 120. <laughs> I have, like, 12. I have 24. Like, it it takes so much. Also, my face cam is covering that. I'm sorry. I'll just go right here. Like, it, it, it takes so much. It, it, like, we need more cosmetic enhancements. Like, we didn't get any of that in here. We didn't get anything from this boss. This boss was the worst designed boss I've ever seen. Like, Legends or er, Final Boss Escanor was a nightmare, but if you had a buff removal unit, you were basically fine. Like, n no lie, like it, it realistically was not that bad. Uh, but I mean, I had mono at the time, so maybe that's why. But either way, the and the Legend Esk or the Final Boss Escanor shop, I remember see making a video was it was ass, it was horrible. Also, uh, Nimar will never do this again, never limit it to how many you can get in a singular day. Do you think I want to do Final Boss for like 12 days in a row? No, I hate this shit, never want to do it again. Uh, okay, what's next? Do I go to PvP? I think that'll probably be it. Like, Brawl, it's shit. I just log in daily, I get the coins, and then I'm done. I don't really do it, but uh. Yeah, I think we'll just do PvP, and then this video will be over. It's already 33 minutes long. Holy shit. Um, PvP, I guess I'll go over the... Oh, I gotta go over cosmetics. I mean, I can quickly go over that in, like, two minutes. It's not that hard. I'm just gonna yell at the devs. Um, anyway, this... I mean, I don't really like, mind this. This is, like, whatever. Like, it, it's fine, I guess. I wish it was just gold. Like, I don't see why it has to be these points. It's not like these are so sought after anymore like just make it gold why does it have to be these tokens i don't know um oh. these i don't mind like it, it th this these are just collection like realistically no units that are really relevant besides them being links even use these anymore so you know just farming over time i i don't mind this like the the master one i would kind of like being cut in half um but whatever that's just me now uh, this 200 coins for 10 anvils it is so stupid like i hate all of these prices like this it's like whatever okay sure that's fine it's one per thing but all of these are so ludicrously overpriced six thousand for one i still have to get this card by the way but save for market by the way uh if you're thinking about spending your coins save 
because Margaret, uh, the card is coming into this. It's a SSR, or SSR, a UR card. Has a lot of CC. One of the best cards in the game for the deer. So keep that in mind. Um, but six thousand coins for one SA coin. That is two weeks of challenger PVP. This should be like sixty. Okay, maybe 600, not 60, but 600. In all honesty, like, yes, that's pretty overpriced still, but, like, 6,000 for one SA coin is insane. Make this shop somewhat useful. The only thing people do is they buy this, and this is still a shit deal. How many can I even get? I can get 160 anvils. Grand Cross and fix your shit game like this this should be like 500 like th there's no reason and then this oh my god this is insane this is nine weeks of saving I believe because it's 3,000 coins for challenger I believe I don't know if you get any from top 100 or anything but nine weeks of saving for a singular SSR ticket ludicrous and now we go over pvp i don't know how they can fix it oh hey it's bowser i i, I know that person hello um but pvp is broken you go first 99 percent of the time you win like if i use my lilia team and i go first i'm most likely gonna beat your butt i don't want to swear i won't i won't do it i won't stoop to people's levels like that but it, it's stupid it genuinely is stupid like i i kind of wish how they did it, it was how they did it in master duel it, it's like a 50 50 uh they just basically flip a coin you go first cool because cc should just be how beefy are your units it shouldn't determine who goes first like in all honesty like i think it should be a skill thing as to be honest not a flip but either way i think a flip is better than haha i i pulled out my 12 credit cards and went into debt can you beat me <laughs> P p please let me win i'm crying right now um but yeah uh, pvp is broken the rewards are dog shit uh i think that uh even ungeared pvp rewards aren't even that great anymore it's so outdated with how freaking hard they push out fest banner collab banner uh ragnarok banner now uh holy war fest dark festival then light festival <laughs> it's just like what I just missed the old banners. Was like, here's unit. It's probably bad, but have it. <laughs> and it was an easy skip. It, mo a lot of units were an easy skip. But now it's like, oh, hey, there's this Ragnarok unit that doesn't seem really good right now. But wait, two months down the line, you're going to want her. And she's not going to be in a banner. She's going to be have, or she's going to have horrible rates and not guaranteed. Yeah, summon right now, bitch. That's that, that, that's what happens every time. It's so annoying. Like, <sighs> nobody thought Magella was going to be good. Like, people were like, yeah, she'll probably be good down the future. And what do you know? Trader Melly dropped exactly two months later. And now she is the best team with him for Bird. I guess not for Deer because she doesn't work in Deer. And she just makes every unit work for Bird. So it's like, it's so dumb. Uh, P M Matrona, another good option. Like, she doesn't seem that great if you didn't put in the context that she's going to be on the bird. And her rates are horrible. I haven't seen anybody pull her off of the banner. Like, I never pulled a dupe. I went the entire Sario rotation almost. I didn't pull a singular dupe of her. I'm probably going to go... I don't think she's on Scotty's banner, but I'm going to go... I I'm going to be something for Scotty on Tuesday or Thursday whenever it drops. And I'm probably not going to pull a Miguel the dupe. The only unit on that banner that I need will be Scotty, the new Elot, and Magelda, I'm pretty sure. The only units I need in terms of dupes, and I will not pull her. That is how confident I am. But, uh, yeah, P PvP needs a massive overhaul in terms of rewards. Like, there's just... N like, people just sit at Champ 5. This is what I used to do until uh, I got Lilia, and then I actually started playing PvP. Um, I just sat at Champ 5. I logged in. I loaded into a match. And then I forfeited. I just gave them the win. I did not care. Like, what do you lose? Oh, no. I lost some of my three coins. Oh, no. I, I don't care. 
Like, this game is not that, like, great. I miss how it used to be, you know? Um, I, I, I miss just being able to use Escanor, you know? The boy, just a massive damage dealer, but he could still easily get countered, you know? If you run into a OG Valencia team, oh my god, Escanor got, like, so cucked. Like, if you got your ultimate, yeah, you would win, because, I mean, if that, that ult destroys, um, but... A really well-built Valencia team, or just like a Pierce team that out CCs you, would have demolished you. The OG um, Red Escanor team, absolutely like terrifying team. Once it came to Fess, it was like, damn, this game, bro. <laughs> like Lost Vane, I mean, he wasn't that bad. I didn't mind fighting him too much. Like, I I just used Escanor and I ult rushed with him. Like, I never used Lost Vane unless I was doing content. Um, so it wasn't that bad. Like, I still just used Eskrin or Pierce team all the way till the one dropped, and then I switched my team. So, yeah. Um, you know, I, I would love if they would get rid of these shit rules, let the community come up with some rules, and then they implement it or something, because Netmarble, like, they, they don't really implement anything. Like, they are, f like, spoon-feeding us every little few months. The training cave update is almost... Running on a year and a half now since they said they were going to fix it, I think. So I think it was last, last year, November. I'm pretty sure that they were going to talk about it. But, you know, who knows where that went. Um, but, yeah, let me know down below how you guys feel. Um, costumes, costumes, costumes. I'll, I'll go over this brief. Costumes need to be cheaper. The half gem thing is exactly how, like, price the cosmetic should be all the time. Or, the cosmetic sale comes back every other week. So that way, you know, you save up a few gems, a few hundred gems, you know, because you get about a hundred or so gems a week. And then you just, you know, you, you you spend on a unit, you know, it should be that simple. But no, 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 no. You have to drop 30, 60, uh, this one is free, this one is free, 90 gems, 90, and then 60. So, 90, 90, 180 plus 60, that'd be 240 gems for one unit. And you're not getting 240 gems within two weeks unless, you know, they drop, like, a special event or, like, a final boss or something. But that is one unit you have to wait two weeks just to get cosmetics for. And that is absolutely absurd. <laughs> I, I just think they should always be cheaper. Um... Another thing, uh, the cosmetics, uh, oh, it's gone now, but uh, in Visal, you know, when you go to this place, uh, all the cosmetics in the shops or whatever, I think when this little, like, pop-up shop pops up, you know, this thing, when it's like, oh, hey, the pop-up shop is here, I think it should be for gold. I think the items should be, should be for gold, you know, you, you, you signed in, you know, you saw it. Like, the only thing this does is increase your box, you see. Like, it's not like it's going to be making or breaking your account. Just a small little thing. Like, what good unit is here? Like, I guess Fighter Diane is a pretty decent unit. Diane is a good link. Gil Thunder is whatever. Gila, whatever. Hauser is whatever. Grimoire is kind of cool. Jericho is a pretty good Belmless unit. Uh, Fighter Diane. Marmus. Okay, that's the only one that I'll allow. Slater, he has a cool... You know, he's good for Red Demon. Um, Henningson, Gil Thunder. No, 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 no. Like... All these units are so outdated. Oh, my boy. My boy, Ruin. Oh, give him more weapons. That's another thing. Give every unit 5-5 five, five weapons. I'm going to bring up beads in this. I'm not going to bring up my own personal feelings because Ruin doesn't have 5 weapons. I won't bring it up. I won't bring it up. I'll bring up Beats' girl, you know? That sounds so bad, but... Deldry. Look at this. What's her new outfit, by the way? This is... Is this her new outfit? That is so ugly. What the hell? Just use this one. What the goddamn hell? Uh, but she has no weapons! Why? The SR Green one I don't think has any weapons either, I'm pretty sure. Like, give units weapons, bro! There's no point not to. It's just, like... Let's go to the slime people. Little slimy boy, where is he? He should be level 90. He's an SR. Yeah. Look what they did. They just completely... Like, it is the exact same skin, just different stats. Just do that. It's not difficult. Like, 
Unique slime. Unique slime. Un it's even the same name. <laughs> I didn't even realize. It. You're being very rude. Thank you. And then no weapons. Like they could easily just do that for every single unit in the game. Allow them to get five five weapons. Allow people to have the highest CC possible for their units. Let them have fun with. The freaking sandbox, I guess you could call it. The units that you put in the goddamn game. <laughs> like, people that want to max out Wylo. I, I can't see his weapons. I don't know how many he has. But, like, give him 555 weapons. What? Like, everyone who pushes top 100 should have a unit that's allowed to get the 555 weapons. I don't get it. Give them for free, too. That would be an even better incentive to push for top 100. It's just more box you see at the end of the day. But, like, it, it, for people who really like these characters and people who want to have fun, it's just a little bit more of an incentive to be like, okay, you know, this unit's actually somewhat usable in PvP. I'll go use them. So, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below how you guys feel. Also, my music stopped halfway through. I wasn't paying attention. I'm very, very sorry. But, uh, yeah, take care and peace out. And yeah, let me know your guys' favorite time in Grand Cross. I'm curious, even though probably one or two people made it to the end of the video. But yeah, take care and peace out.